Now at six, a Montgomery County man is accused of being a peeping Tom, taking video of a woman in her own home. Good evening, I'm Aziza Shuler. Police have arrested that man, and our Marcella Bayero shares how police say he used a camera disguised as a common device that you most likely have at home. Many of us probably have one of these. This is just a normal phone charger. Well, police say a 27 year old man used one of them with a hidden camera in it to record one of his neighbors. Residents at Kingswood Apartments are shocked after finding out about a peeping Tom in their complex. I was really scared. I think it was terrifying. I was just being a girl living here as well. It's just scary. Police say Ryan Seleni broke into a woman's apartment and planted a small phone plug charger that had a hidden camera inside. The woman noticed the suspicious device plugged into an outlet in her bedroom and reported it to police last Sunday. According to detectives, the camera captured video and still pictures of the victim undressing. They say there was also video of Seleni in the victim's bed. And my heart goes out to her and her family. It's traumatizing. Upper Marion Township Police took Seleni into custody on Thursday, charging him with several crimes, including criminal trespass and theft for stealing several items. This is crazy. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Rob DeVidio is a professor at Drexel University where he researches high tech crime. He says these sort of devices are more accessible than ever. This stuff is widely available, it's smaller and smaller, and once it's placed, you don't even need to go back and retrieve the footage. They're Wi Fi connected. Police also think there could be several more victims after finding evidence at Seleni's apartment. But DeVideo says there is a way you can protect yourself. If you point your camera, your forward facing uh, camera on your cell phone, and you darken the room, you'll be able to pick up and see a red dot that indicates that there's an infrared lens there. The video also says that this isn't just a privacy concern in apartments. This could also happen in hotels and in Airbnbs. Now, please tell us as of now, Seleni is currently at the Montgomery County Correctional Facility awaiting arraignment after he was unable to post bail. In King of Prussia, Marcella Bayetto, CBS News, Philadelphia. Thank you, Marcella.